Hello everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining my channel. It's raining and I love it. I love when it rains in my little capsule, Dharma. My name is Bobby. Thank you for being here. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. <clears throat> I just want to do some clarification on this video. Because there's a lot of people that, that like I, when I speak of magic, and there's a lot of people that are readers and if people understand magic, they're going to watch that last video and say, duh. There are a lot of people that don't understand magic. And that's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the truckers, man. I'm talking to the, the cooks, the waitresses, the people who are just doing their job, who, have been, who haven't been shown the way, who haven't been taught, you know, the etherics, the, the spiritual, you know, except for the main religious you know venues you know what I mean so I'm just kind of like putting my spin on it make it a little more accessible to people so this video is going to be about globalist globalism as opposed to one world not the new world order but I'm talking about a, a global symbiotic um, community kind of like the Federation Star Trek I love Star Trek as a as the concept but these globalists, okay, when I speak of globalists, when I talk about globalists, I'm not talking. And they, they try to spin it. This is where it gets confusing for a lot of people, and this is why I'm doing this video. There are a lot of honest, sweet, wonderful people that don't understand what these liberal Marxists are doing. They're talking about getting rid of borders, getting rid of, you know, having just one currency, one, you know, one... The problem is, is it's usually not, I mean, if you're going to go for one currency, just do the dollar. If you're going to do one, you know, government form, why don't we do the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the amendment? I mean, it's an amazing Declaration of Independence. These are all amazing documents. Everybody's praising them forever, and all of a sudden, they're, they're useless, and they're not. They're kind of like, you know, a bunch of white, old white dudes. What? Okay. I want to focus on globalists. The globalists are bad. These are the same people who think the Georgia Guidestones is a good idea, which basically cuts the population of the earth to about less than half a billion people. And all these globalists plan on still being here, if you understand what I'm trying to say. These are not good people. These are not honest people. These are not positive growth people. These aren't people that are praising Mother Gaia or the universe or God. These are very low vibration, evil human beings that want power and money. Period. Every one of them has a fat bank account. Why is that? I didn't know public service came along with a billion dollar check. I think all politicians should be non-profit. Pro bono. That would just solve a lot of problems, wouldn't it? To be a politician, you had to literally do it for free. It's like charity work. I'll get into that. But the difference between a globalist, somebody who wants a new world order, who wants to control you, as opposed to a one world symbiotic community, which is about not about control, which is about love and compassion and about truth and about communication and honesty. No Area 51s, no secret CIA torture fucking bases, none of that shit. That doesn't come with a, a one globalist world. The Federation, the concept of Star Trek and the Federation, they don't have secret bases where they torture human beings or even aliens. The concept of the Federation, which I love, is basically the world under one government but that government is not a corrupt bunch of scumbags, period. They're just the people that are working hard to try to make every man, woman, child on this planet happy and free. And happy, happy meaning good medicine, not, not the shit they're pumping out, but good you know, herbal medicines, homeopathic medicines, all these things that are not being taught. You know, like doctors are going to medical school be, to become um, pharmacists. 
they, they're getting, a lot of them are just like I, I I came to be perform surgeries to do good not to be pumping these you know pharmaceuticals <clears throat> so you have to understand the difference if you're out there and you're wondering what the difference between a globalist is and um, uh, I don't even know what to call it you would the, the true form of the word is just a freedom just a, um, not a libertarian so much as a just a freedomist I don't know if that's a word somebody who just wants to be free who wants to just imagine somebody who wants to live where they want to live eat what they want to eat make love to whoever they want to make love to you don't have to advertise or, or promote it or scare people into making sure that they do the same thing you do but feel free to hump whoever you want as long as they're you know it's consensual and we're all you know legal age but the point is is these are the simple things that people want they want fresh fruit they want fresh produce they want they want security. They don't want to defund police officers because police officers, in the in the in the pure sense of the word, are they're simply there to make sure the random fight doesn't break out. Normally, it's not that extreme. I'm sure a lot of cops are bored at their jobs because there's not a lot of, you know, it's just the occasional drunk bum on the street pissing or whatever. You know what I mean? Or the drunk husband beating his old lady. That kind of fucked up shit. So more, most, it's not always going to be Miami Vice or some crazy, you you know. You know bad boys you know movie but the point is I rambled for a second there but the the community the symbiotic relationship that we all have is one of love and one of companionship and empathy the people that are globalists they want fear they, their their whole point is fear disinformation and and chaos let chaos reign because when you're focused on the chaos, you're not focused on them stealing your money. The criminals are running the bank, and they're t and they're taking your money out the back as you're bringing it in the front. So, just so you know, the people in charge are not good people, and that's a part of the problem. And they are globalists. There's no Republicans. There are no Democrats. There's no EU members. There are no parliamentary members in the UK. They're all fucking globalists. I mean, pretty much verbatim, they're all fucking in on it. I Trump was a fluke. That's all I can say about that dude. And he was surrounded by deep state motherfuckers. And he didn't even know. Doo -doo -doo. I got to tell you, Trump is a smart guy. But I don't think he even understood the fucking depth of the treachery of these fuckers, right? So understand the difference between globalists, scumbags. And George Soros is one of them. And I, I do have a video about George Soros. And he is a fucking Nazi. He, and by the way, there's that, I don't understand how these people get by, get away with this shit. I'm going to digress on the Nazis because they're all scumbags and we all know who they are. If you believe that one race is more powerful than another, you're a fucking scumbag. Whether you're a Black Panther or you're a fucking neo-Nazi fucking KKK member. You're all idiots. You're all fucking ignorant and you're all wrong. Shame on you. I'm still supposed to be the emperor of the universe. I love all my children, even the dumbasses who, who hate other people because of the pigment of their skin. Anyway, so we are all symbiotic. We are all one. I feel your pain. You feel my pain or you're a, you're a psychopath. You don't feel any of this pain. But anyway, hopefully that's not the case. I love you. God loves you and the universe is crazy about you. And so hopefully this has cleared some stuff up. Otherwise, it's just, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just another video. Anyways, I love you, and I'm going to let you go, and hopefully this helped a little bit on the difference between a, a symbiotic, you know, united community, like the Federation and Star Trek, as compared to the globalist, utopian, you know, kill pretty much the most, pop, you know, six million people, six billion plus people need to go. They're not building starships and shipping them off somewhere else either, so, anyway. Love and light people, think positive. Manifest positively and live in love and light, man, and we will win this. The light will shine. The rebel lines will beat the empire. I'm just all geeky sci-fi right now. Anyway, I love you. I'm going to let you go. Okay, bye.